who is watching this video. Today is the first day here in Darlington and we just arrived here. I think that there's not much to say about the day because we didn't do many things. We just um, flew from Düsseldorf to Manchester. The plane arrived a little bit late and we flew about two hours and then we arrived in Manchester. And when we arrived at the airport there was a bus driver with his bus. The bus driver um, took us from Manchester to Darlington. Meine Damen und Herren, zu Ihrer eigenen Sicherheit bitten wir Sie, angeschnallt zu bleiben, da Turbulenzen jederzeit auftreten können. Vielen Dank. Ladies and gentlemen, for safety and comfort, passengers are requested to keep their seatbelts fast as turbulence may occur. And after we put our bags um, in our rooms, we went to the Darlington Center to see the city and to see where we could eat something. Wir leben! Buy something. And after that, we went to the bed and breakfast again. All the rooms are very clean and nice. This is the ID card we got at the Düsseldorf Airport. Uh, so if English children uh, walk through the city when, when it's time to uh, go to school, policemen can catch them and bring them to school. So um, these ID cards are there that the policemen know that we are um, not from England and we don't have to go to school. So, but. I think that's it for the day and there's nothing more to tell you about the day so I end here and we see us tomorrow. Bye. So welcome to day two of our exchange to Darlington. Today we visited the Civic Theatre. The Civic Theatre is one of the 100 most uh, haunted places in whole Britain. They told us many ghost stories about the theatre. They told us about the first owner of the theatre. It was an Italian guy called Peppy. And they told us about uh, many people who are working at that time. Most of the people are ghosts now in the theater, like Jimmy or Gordon and many, many other ghosts. They wanted to scare us a little bit and some were believers and some were non-believers. Some people thought that it was um, a totally invented story, but uh, other people believed what he said and they believed um, in those ghosts who are living in this theater. floor. Call the fly floor because whenever we move scenery on the stage by means of ropes or cables, it's called flying the scenery. So we fly the pieces in and out. We need five, so somebody stands on there and gets hold further up, and somebody stands back here and gets hold further up. And between five people, then the piece of scenery goes out nice and smooth. Was they've had one leg on the bar, on the other leg, they did that with round the rope next door. And that was that really was not going to save them from falling. It just gave them a bit of confidence. Because if they fell, they were just going to break their leg. But that's how they did it. And that's how we believe that Jimmy the Flyman met his end. We believe he had a fall down at that end. Jimmy was discovered in 2004 uh, by a medium who was up here, who got his name and everything. And then they went away. Um, and I thought, I, I, do, I do probably 40, 50 of these tours a year. Mostly to school groups, English school groups that are much smaller, much younger. Um, and I thought it would be really nice if, if the kids, we tell the ghost story and then the kids say, hello Jimmy, just in case he's here. Um, and then after a while I decided I would do it to all the groups that came. So we would all say hello Jimmy. You lot are no exception. She asked me any questions, so she didn't pick for any information. And I hadn't published any information anywhere. She came up here about three o'clock in the morning, and she sat down there, just where you're standing, and she was quiet for a while, and she said, yeah, Jimmy is here with us tonight, but before we start asking him questions, could he say thank you very much for getting all the people who come up here to say hello to him? 
and she had no way of knowing that that's what I was doing and what I had been doing for the last year nearly. Everybody I brought up here said hello Jimmy before they left the floor. She had no idea that, that I, I was doing that at all. I, I know for a fact. We can't break with a tradition because it's bad luck if you break traditions in theatres. So before we leave the fly for us, nobody else has any questions further questions. After three, I'd like you all to say hello, Jimmy. One, two, three. Hello, hello Jimmy. Jimmy. He won't hear that. Come on, a bit, a bit louder than that. One, two, three. Hello, hello Jimmy. Jimmy. Oh, just about. <laughs> that, that, he'll, he'll have heard that just about. And it's been recorded as well. <laughs> So after the theatre we had a little bit free time, we could go to the market, the, um, there was a big mall called Komu, there were many shops like Primark or Burger King, so we had free time to go to eat, and after this free time we went to the Hammersnot Academy. It was a very very big school which was rebuilt some years ago, the, um, the school is totally new. It's very modern, there are uh, computers in every room. They have three computer rooms and in every other room, it's like in the arts room or in the music room, there are many Macs, iMacs from Apple. They have their own recording studio. They uh, even got their own pool, but there's a little problem in the pool, so they have to refill it. And I just don't want to know uh, how much it costs it to um, build all these things and buy all these new things. After that we had free time again, some people went home to the bed and breakfast. Uh, when everybody got home we ordered many pizzas. We ate very very much pizza and after that everybody was so satisfied. Uh, I think that's it for the day. Yeah, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello, this is day three in Darlington. So we've been here for a while and um, the day started with a breakfast, with an English breakfast at 7.30. Um, we had a um, traditional English breakfast, the cooked breakfast, just like yesterday. But um, I did mention the cooked breakfast yesterday, so I'm going to do it now. So it's a breakfast with sausages and beans and toast and um, tomatoes and mushrooms and bacon. Not everybody likes this uh, English breakfast. Think about half of the group eats this cooked breakfast. After eating, we went to the Queen Elizabeth VI Form College. We had to do projects with three different uh, groups which learned uh, German in school. The um, task was to um, interview the um, interview the group and ask them question like, questions like um, "Was is dein Lieblingsfilm?" or "Was is dein um, Lieblingsessen?" and they had to ask us um, questions like "How do you find Darlington?" or "What music do you hear?" So we had to ask them in German and they had to answer in German and they asked us in English and we had to answer in English. So after that, we had to do a presentation about um, uh, different topics. There were topics like um, Tourismus und Urlaub, um, Freunde, Familie, Rauchen, Alkohol, and so on and so on. Uh, we did this three times because there were three different groups and it got very, very boring because we had to do it so often and yeah, it was really, really boring after two or three times doing the same. After the sixth from college, we went to the town hall to the mayor. Hello, everybody. Uh, if you want to film or take photographs, please do so. The mayor this year is uh, a lady called Councillor Lee Vesey. Uh, she is the first citizen of the borough, and as a courtesy for that, when she does come in, I'll ask you all to stop. We met the mayor. We could ask uh, questions like um, what she did five years ago or what projects she have. And after we went to the mayor, we got, got back to the sixth form college. Uh, there were two people called Matthias and Claire, 
and uh, we could ask them questions about the school or about England, about Darlington, about everything. And they answered the question in German or in um, English. And after that, they gave a little tour um, through the school. The school was very, very big. It was not like the Hammersmith College, but it was very impressive. After that, we had free time. But at 6 o'clock, we wanted to meet at Tenasol. Tenasol is a, a little pub in Skinner's Gate. The, and Thursday is Curry Club. And we went there and could eat curry. There was chicken and lamb. But well, many people just ate a cheeseburger or a chicken burger or something else. They didn't uh, buy something of the curry plan. So after that, some people of the group uh, went to Claire. Claire was one of the students uh, who learned uh, German in the Queen Elizabeth VI Farm College. And we went uh, to her home, we watched TV, we listened to music, and she showed us her pets, her lizard and her cats. We went home and that's it. That's the end of the day. And we see we see us tomorrow. Day four. Bye. Hey everybody, today is the fourth day of our exchange to Darlington. Today is Friday and we finished the project work at Queen Elizabeth VI from College. After all the presentations, we had a little lunch party. Everybody brought some food to the lunch party. The whole group brought typical German food and the others brought um, typical English food. So it uh, became an English-German party. It was very nice, the food was delicious, we had fun and we talked. After lunch party, we went to the Railway Museum. And the Railway Museum in Darlington is the first locomotion ever. It's called Locomotion Number One. There are many locomotions and the first locomotion in the whole world. The first railway line was between Darlington and Stockton. The railway museum is a railway station. The first locomotion number one took off at that railway station. It was very interesting to see all the locomotions of the history. And there was also a ghost in this railway station. It was a really funny day and the railway station was really interesting. After that we had spare time and did our evening meals. To hear more about the exchanges in Darlington, watch out for day 5. Bye! Today is Saturday and the 5th day of our exchange to Darlington. Today we have breakfast at 8.15. After the breakfast, we walked to the railway station. We had a train transfer to York. We visited some museums in York, like the York Viking Center. The Viking Center was very interesting. First, not everybody was excited to visit a Viking Center because it was very smelly in there and dark and yeah, was not so interesting. But after that, we had a little tour in the Viking Center. It was like traveling with a time machine. We saw um, how the Vikings lived. It was very interesting. We saw the market. I can't descri uh, describe the tour. You, you have to see it yourself. And I was not allowed to film this. After that, we went to the York St. Mary's. You can see contemporary arts in there. But we didn't stay long there. After that, we had spare time to eat something. After the lunch break, we went to another museum, the Yorkshire Museum and Shambles. In the museum was a movie, a little movie about the history of York. Five minutes from the Yorkshire Museum was York Minster. We were not allowed to go up there, but it was still interesting. The Minster was huge. They needed 200 years to build it, eight generations. The people who started building the church didn't even see the whole thing. And right in front of the York Minster started the York Ghost Trail. There was a man who was telling creepy stories about York. We walked through the streets of York and he told us scary ghost stories about York. But there were some annoying kids and they destroyed the whole atmosphere. So it wasn't creepy. 
It was just like a comedy show. After the ghost trail, we were transferred to Darlington again, and we all slept in our beds. So, we we'll see us tomorrow, day six, um, one of the last days of our exchange, and yeah, bye. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Another two. Fascinating. Wow, I'm going to be in that shower. Wow. That was good. Hello, it's Sunday and our exchange is coming to an end. Today we visited the Beamish Living Museum. We visited a real coal mine, and it was really interesting. Right, that series finished now. First of all, welcome to Beamish. Hopefully you're going to enjoy yourselves today. Now, if anybody's got any questions, right, stop me and I'll try and answer them, as long as they're easy questions. I don't want to talk about hard questions. Right, now this is called the Mahogany Drift. This is a real drift mine. A lot of visitors think that this is something that the museum's put together to represent a mine. It isn't. It was really dark in the coal mine. And they told us about the people who had to work there. Boys who were like 14 years old, old had to work in that coal mine. It was really dark and they only had a candle to uh, light up in the coal mine. It was really hard work. We also visited the old locomotion. The old locomotion drove us some hundred meters away and back again. There were buses and trams who took you to, uh, to another place in Beamish Living Museum. was rebuilt. They really built it like it's some years ago. When we finished visiting the Beamish Living Museum, we had a bus transfer to Richmond, Richmond Castle. The castle was very big and beautiful.
went back to Darlington, we had our evening meals, and that's it. So, we see us tomorrow, the last day here in Darlington, and that's it. Yeah, we see us tomorrow. Bye. So this is the last day here in Darlington. Today we had breakfast at 7.45 and after the breakfast we went to the Howard School of Maths and Computing. In school everybody had a guy. The guy showed us the way in school. Everybody of us joined various lessons. In PE we played basketball. I liked the school but some teachers just ignored us. They didn't even talk to us. The students were nice. After the visit at Herwell School, we went to Durham by train. After 20 minutes, we arrived in Durham. We visited the Heritage Center. It was a museum which told us about the history of Durham. After that, we walked a little bit through the town and see some uh, marketplaces and shops and so on. After that, we visited the cathedral. The cathedral was very special because they filmed many, many scenes of Harry Potter in there. Just like the classroom of Mrs. McGonagall. After that, we had free time. After our free time, we met at 5.15 in the town center of Durham. Then we had a train transfer back to Darlington. We didn't go to the bed and breakfast. We directly went to the Joe Rigatoris to have our evening meal. It was the last evening meal here in Darlington, so we did it all together, even with some students of the Queen Elizabeth VI for college. It was a really nice evening. After that, some students of the Queen Elizabeth VI from college joined us and came to the battle breakfast. day has ended, the week has ended, and our exchange to Darlington is going to end tomorrow. Maybe I'm going to do another diary entry when I'm back home to say my opinion of the whole exchange.